In this video, we're going to look at question number six. It says, sketch and shade the solutions for this system of inequalities. There are one, two, three, four equations here, or inequalities, sorry. A lot of students just focused on these two and just ignored these two altogether. So let's make sure we do all four. First of all, these kind here are easier to graph when you change them to y equals mx plus b form. So this one, I want it y by itself. I want to isolate the y, so I will divide by 3 to get rid of this 3, and I have to divide this side by 3 also. What does that become? So this equation becomes this, sorry, inequality. So when I divided by 3, this negative 1 became negative 1 third. This 6 here divided by 3 became 2. So there we have something that's easy to graph. Now let's change this one as well. For this one, to get y isolated, we're going to have to add 8x to move it to this side and we're going to, have to divide by 4. So, so let's see if you can do it in your head. Move that 8x over here, and then divide both the 12 and the 8x by 4. What we should get is this, all right? With that 8x moved over on that side, divide by 4 is 2x. And the 12 divided by that 4 is 3. So now we have these two in y equals mx plus b form. That can be grasped pretty easily. Let's see if we can do it. First one, let's graph this one. There it is. This has a negative slope. So it's going down. It has a y-intercept of 2. So it starts at 2 and goes down 1 over 3. So from here, down 1 over 3. Down 1 over 3. All right, there's that line. And it's a solid line because this is greater than or equal to this one. Less than this. All right, so this one has a y-intercept of 3 and a slope of 2 over 1. All right, so 3, we start at 3. There's the 3. It's a positive slope. It's going to be going up. The slope is 2 over 1. So from this y-intercept, we go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Or from here, we can go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. OK, so there's those two lines. This is a dotted line because this is not equal to. It's just less than, not equal to. Now we got to graph this one. x is less than 1. So think of the equation x equals 1 x equals 1 would just be a vertical line at x equals 1 right there. So let me get the next one. There it is. Vertical line at x equals 1. But this is x less than 1, so the values we're looking for are to the left of this dotted line, or on this side, on this side, because that's less than 1. Now y, y is greater than or equal to 1. So again, we're looking for the horizontal line y equals 1. That line is right here. And we're going to look for values greater or equal to that. So above, greater than that. So now if you think about all these, less than, greater than. This one is greater than this negative line. So this is the negative line, greater. So over here, less than that line. So less than means this over here. Greater than that, less than that. If you just consider where all that shading occurs, there is the shared zone right in the middle there. Alright, kind of take a look at that, make sure you understand exactly why that was shaded.